welcome to another episode of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, and I'm here to bring you all the latest news in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. It's Tuesday, September 29th, 2015, and let's get to it. Just one week after locking up his own little slice of history with a fourth straight 212 Olympia title, the good times keep on rolling for Flex Lewis. Lewis, along with a whopping three other athletes, hopped on a flight to Seoul, Korea for the second consecutive year to compete in the IFBB Korea Pro, where Lewis cruised to a victory once again, edging out an awesome-looking Jose Raymond, who finished in second, and David Henry in third. For Lewis, the win is his 14th of his career, which doesn't appear to be showing signs of slowing down anytime soon. And with the Prog Pro just around the corner, we might be on the verge of seeing Flex sweep the post-Olympia shows for the second straight year in a row. There's aging, then there's aging Gracely, and then there's the legendary Vince Taylor, who at 59 years young is in a category all by himself. Last weekend, a few candid gym shots leaked out of the quiet storm in action who still looks like he's carved out of granite despite the fact that he's creeping closer to 60 by the day. Taylor is a true living legend in the sport and his physique has been the inspiration for countless young athletes that have taken the stage over the last few decades. While he hasn't announced his intention to compete again, there's one thing that the competition has learned the hard way. Never count out Vince Taylor. 2016, beware. The freak is headed your way. After earning his IFBB Pro card and making his IFBB Pro debut all in the same season, which is quite the rarity these days, Paulo the Freak Almeida is back to work preparing to make 2016 a year to remember. Only a few weeks into his offseason, Almeida is already tipping the scales at a sidewalk cracking 290 pounds. The 5% nutrition athlete has quickly grown into a fan favorite and looks to have all the makings of a very good pro who will be competitive for years to come. Almeida already oozes raw muscle, but if he can continue to grow and refine his physique, it won't be long before he finds himself up on stage right in the mix of things, battling it out for his first pro victory. Despite the fact that she's no longer holding the title of Miss Figure Olympia, the timeless and iconic Nicole Wilkins doesn't appear to be backing off the gas. Over the weekend, Wilkins released a few photos from some recent training sessions, showing off the look that has firmly carved her place on the Mount Rushmore of figure. With four Olympias and three figure internationals to her credit, Wilkins is the most decorated athlete in the history of the sport. And regardless of whether or not she ever wins another major title, her legacy will always be that of a true champion. Don't simply look at the numbers and let his 12th place finish at the Olympia fool you. Because 2015 has been one hell of a year for Max Charles. After shocking everyone with the look he brought to the New York Pro, Charles went on to capture his first Pro win at the Tampa Pro a few weeks later and capped things off with a fine Olympia debut. Each and every year, the amazing Maximus Prime seems to improve by leaps and bounds. So if we want to strap on a Nostradamus cap and forecast ahead to next season's New York Pro, we'd say watch out, because Max Charles will be handing out some good old-fashioned butt whoopings. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out IronMagLabs.com today. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passion. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. 